Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with the Technical Trader at thetechtrader.com. It's uh, Thursday, the 14th of April, and these are the charts of the day. Well, it was kind of a choppy, sloppy day in Wall Street, kind of a consolidation day. Some of the stocks we traded did well, and um, wanted to take uh, what, and the ones some of the ones we're following as well. Um, ARGS uh, stock that Geo came up with a few weeks back has been has moved basically doubled from the uh, five six range up to uh, 11.50 today. Today, the spike up took it from 905 to 11.50, and then it settled back to 10.15. So maybe it's reached near the top of the channel, and maybe it needs some time to consolidate. But I think that overall, the overall look of this indicates to me on a long term basis, we could run it back up near the post IPO high and make a run about the 13 three quarter range by next target. But first, let's look to see if there's a better setup as the stock is extended. CEMI is taking off right now. It looks like it started late today. Um, only 380,000. That's even decent volume for that stock, believe it or not. Breaking out to nine year highs. The top of the channel at about seven and three quarters is my short term target. Another point from here. DDD. Well, uh, the technical pattern shows a really strong rising channel. Today exploded. It didn't close great. I'm lower end of the range, but let's see if it either fills this and then bounces or immediately starts higher tomorrow. I still have a target near uh, 21, followed by something maybe in the mid 20s, 25.6. May need some consolidation, and there's 5.8 days to cover, but I like it. ERII, another 41 cents or three and three quarter percent today. Um, it looks to me like it's still trending. The near term target is 13 and then 15, three and three quarter days to cover. INO came out of a week long consolidation. Wedge type pattern popping 2.7% uh, on a million eight, excuse me, uh, yeah, 1.8 million, 1.9 nearly. Uh, the OBV is holding up great, and the stock looks like it's going to take head up and test and take out 990 and run to my next target of 10 and three quarters and then 12 and a half. There's almost seven days to cover on INO. Juno acting very well after the consolidation in this zone looks like it's starting to move up a very small fraction, but stuck its head above resistance. I'm now looking for a test of 45 and three quarters, followed by something around 48. And we'll see if we get further than that. 5.35 days to cover on that. LABU, well, the biotech index, uh, after breaking out and pulling back the test, held and has moved up for three days in a row. Don't like lower volume. Maybe it needs to come back and fill in here, but eventually I'm looking for 42 and then 45.6. LXU acting well, up now. Five days in a row, slightly though. I need to pop through the 14, 14, 10 zone. And we're right underneath it. My target's 18. OLED popped through resistance, taking out the double top today and backing off a little bit, but up $1.65 or 3%. With volume of 1.4 million being the highest volume on an update since February, this one could extend. The long term chart tells me this could be a $75 stock and it's 5.2 days to cover. Shopify, well, after the double bottom, it's moved up steadily. The moving averages have crossed over. It refuses to back off much. Right now, um, in, in the last day or so, it's taken out what I consider a fairly big lateral resistance level, and it's headed to 34, in my opinion. SIEN, a new swing trade, starting to move. You can see the pop and the follow through today, although it wasn't a great close on it, it was only up 12 cents. It feels like it's, it is going to extend and run up to. Test that 10, uh, 40, 50 zone before we attempting to go into the 14 area. 6.75 days to cover in that one. SSYS in the same group as DDD with a pop and broke out of a flag today. Again, didn't close well, but it was up $1.64, 6%. With nearly five days to cover, I think this extends. There's some resistance about 32 and a half by next target. USAT, this, this uh, little, little baby is acting well, consolidating nicely, holding Trend line moving average and lateral price support. Uh, once and if it takes out the 460 62 zone, I'm looking for six, six and a half area. 11 days to cover, almost 12 in that one. And lastly, is my favorite biotech XON, which appears to be coming out of that coil with a 3 million share day today, the biggest volume since February. I'm now looking for 43 and then 48. And that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good evening.